What's going on everybody? We're back with the Disting MK4 from Expert Sleepers. The last video was about using the CV delay algorithm in a multi-voice patch to add uh, life and a little bit of extra texture to your voices. And uh, this video we're going to be exploring, I believe it's C8, the uh, Bitcrush algorithm. And we're going to just explore that in a very simple patch. And I'm going to go over the basic uh, features and what I have going on in this patch. And then we'll do a little exploring. So here we go. All right, so what we have going on here is X is our signal input, Y is our sample rate, Z is our bit reduction level, A is the signal output, and B is the comparator output. And I'll read from the manual and tell you what th that is. B is the output of a comparator. Output A is compared against zero. Output B is plus five volts if A is above zero, or zero volts if A is below zero. All right, so now we're just gonna listen to a very basic patch. Right now I have a sine wave. The graininess you're hearing is just the basic output from the disting. It's just making some noise because the bit rate is so low. Um, so a basic sine wave with that sequence running from Ableton uh, on the Lifeforms SV1. And then I have a complementary sequence running on another MIDI channel in Ableton uh, being sent through an Arturia beat step. And the uh, uh, volt per octave CV is being run in and modifying the sample rate on the disting right now. Uh, I also have a velocity module in Ableton. And I'll post a picture of that on the screen for the settings controlling the uh, bit reduction. So that's running in um, sequence with the main melody, and then I have a complementary sequence messing with the bit, uh, the actual uh, sample rate of the bit reduction. So here we have the patch. Here's another sequence. It's just a sine wave playing a melody. And we're just going to go through and manually adjust um, the bit reduction and the sample rate with a, an offset. It's bipolar, uh, by the way. And we're just going to do this manually on the sequence so you can get a feel for what the bit crush is actually doing. really nice icy kind of crystalline tones and this is just mode one with mangle mode one as well or well it would be zero but it's it's zero through seven so there's one through eight i i would say i guess so let's play with that let's change the reduction mode Again, this is just a sine wave. We're not even running through the filter. We just have attenuators. And we're just going. 
going through the reduction modes right now. Liking three, let's go back to three and then change the mangle mode. And to uh, understand what the mangling mode does, I would suggest read the manual. <laughs> You'll be able to understand it better than me explaining it. Let's go back to. 